Shalom. I want to give all praises on them. Glory to you. Hashem, 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 Rakakadash. I'm the one that said elders and apostles of great Muslim, Thomas Truth. And peace, blessing, and citations to the whole for elect. And yeah, man, I just wanted to talk about this dream that I had. And it's basically concerning some family members and the chariots. So yeah, basically, I was inside my house and my auntie came over on my um mom's side, basically her sister, and my three cousins came as well. <clears throat> and literally, we were just chopping it off inside the living room and then all of a sudden, they go outside and literally, <laughs> they're standing outside looking up into the heavens and I'm thinking, what's going on here? So I'm, I'm just standing in the kitchen, observing. And then um, literally they came back inside. And then, and this was literally at um, daytime. And then I went to the door and I look up and I see a chariot just sitting there, man. And <laughs> it was the appearance of, um, what's it called? Um, What's it called? Is it, is it magnesium? No, not magnesium. I think it's mercury. Mercury. So it basically had the appearance like this, but without the ripple effect. And, um, <coughs> and yeah, I'm looking at it. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm jumping around, getting excited. And all of a sudden, my cousins come out. And then my eye also comes out. And then I said to them, look, it's a chariot. And they, was telling, they were basically saying to me, what's that? And then I said, the angel of the Lord. And then... <laughs> Literally, all of a sudden, it's like something clicked in their heads. It's like, oh, I remember, I remember it. I know what it is. And then, literally, I made mention of um, the angels being inside these vehicles, man, as the scriptures also make mention of. What was it called again? Um, the living creatures. <clears throat> Yeah, like it says here, um, Ezekiel 1 and 3, and it says, The word of Yahweh, but Shem Hashai. As you know, verse 4. <clears throat> it says, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolded itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the mist thereof, as the colour of amber, out of the mist of the fire. So Ezekiel is basically talking about the appearance of this vehicle. <clears throat> and then it says, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. So, yeah, when the angels come down, they take on the form of Israelite men. <clears throat> and also, let me go, um, let me get Tobit, because that's, li that's literally an example of um, Raphael coming down as a man that Tobit's um, father knew. I think I spell it right. Glory. Ah, uh, here we go. Tobit 12. And 15, and it says, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One, being Yahweh. Then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces, for they feared. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise Yahweh, but Shem Shad, therefore. For not of any favor of mine, but by the will of our power I came. Wherefore, praise him forever. All these days I did appear unto you, but I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. So, 
literally Raphael had to basically give off their appearance like he was a mortal man. And what does a mortal man have to do? Eat and drink to sustain, <clears throat> to sustain himself. But like he said, <laughs> it was basically a vision that they were seeing. And it says, now therefore give God thanks for I go on to I go up to him that sent me, but write all all these things which are done in a book. So yeah, man. Literally. <clears throat> and you know what? Let me continue with um the dream. And then um so while we we're looking up at this chariot that's just sitting there, they started multiplying. Literally, they started multiplying. So at first it was like this diamond shaped chariot with a small light in the middle of it and then these like these circle orbs and they were like um the color of polished silver refined silver they were shiny and they just started multiplying like splitting apart and literally all of a sudden we looked up and <laughs> there's a, there's these big clouds and they had the windows of the chariots inside them so I knew it wasn't just some any old cloud. And the scriptures are also known. The scriptures basically say that, um, that the clouds, they're also known as the chariots or the vehicles of Yehovah Shem Shai. And also let me go to, um, where's the book of Psalms? Psalms, 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 Psalms. Psalms 68 and 17. Like it says here, the chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord Yahweh shines among them, as in Sinai in the holy place. So, um, yeah, man, <laughs> there's thousands of vehicles and thousands of angels. And literally, <clears throat> the bigger ones were covered in like a material of, um, it basically presented the material of a cloud. But... Literally, you could see the, the shape of the chariot and you could also see the windows that were on the chariots. And literally, me and my um, auntie and my three cousins were basically pointing at them. Man. And then there were, there were even spotting ones I, I didn't even see. And they're like, look, there's, there's, there's a chariot up there. There's more over there, or all, all three of them, or should I say, not all three, all four of them are putting at different chariots. And I'm looking, I'm like, yeah, they're chariots, man. They're the angel of the Lord. And the crazy thing is, um, with my auntie and um, my three cousins, they live in Babylon now, in uh, America. And um, more than likely, they've heard about the truth. So we're going to have to see, man. We're going to have to see what happens. All I can do is um, have hope in Yehovah Shem Shai that they get saved, man. And that's if the, of the elect of the elect, of course. And not only that, but um, literally, it's like the whole dream shifted after we were basically looking up at the chariots. <clears throat> and then... um. I was in this like this um, this big house. <laughs> I was in this big house, and literally it was my it was my aunt's house and it was it was it was, it was massive, it was massive. <coughs> and then um literally, all my family members were there, and not only that it was it's it's, it's kind of crazy like, it it was so big, like literally, there was like, three or four businesses. Within this house, it, it, was, it was like a shopping mall, and um, and literally um, I saw my older brother. I'm gonna call him um J for now, the letter J. I don't wanna like give out his name, but yeah, the J was there, sitting down, and then I basically came up to him, and he was asking him what was going on, what was we doing at my house and then I was telling them like yo we were outside and we saw the chariots man we literally saw the angel of the Lord they appeared unto us and there was thousands upon thousands of them and yeah man 
my brother Jay, he's um slowly believing, slowly. And I've shown I've shown him the chariots. Like literally, I remember when um him and his girl came over and were outside. Literally, multiple chariots appeared. <laughs> it was it, it was amazing, man. It was it was a wondrous sign for me. How was Shim How Shay? Literally, at first he was like, "Oh, they're they're just planes," and then you know you know what happened. <laughs> Three more popped up and they all started flying together. And then I showed them, like, so, so they're all planes flying that close to each other. And you can't even hear the, the, the sounds of the engine. And then he didn't know what to say. And then I ended up taking a picture of it. And behold, it was a chariot. And then the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, um, a plane came right after while the chariots were flying. And yo... The chariots compared to the plane, the plane was way, way bigger and flew way faster. No way could the, the planes have flown as slow as the chariots were going and not fall out the sky and stall. <clears throat> and not only that, you could hear the roar of the engine of the, of the aeroplane, man. And it was, it was evident that those vehicles that were flying were the angel of the Lord, man. And th this is amazing. Just, just imagine the miracles. Just imagine the miracles that you have by Shema Hashem is going to do, man. Like the scriptures say, they go to a time like never before. But <clears throat> not only for judgment, because you got to remember there's a balance. There's going to be salvation. And there's also going to be destruction. And if there's going to be judgment, there's also going to be miracles. And those miracles are going to be on a whole different level. And the prophets are going to be a part of that, man. The, the house of David, the 144,000. They're going to be doing miracles in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And it's going to be evident, man, who the servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai are. It's, it's going to be very, 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 very evident. Oh, no way, there's a chariot right there. Wow. There's a chariot right there. Okay, man. All praise to Yahweh, Shem Ha'ushai. While I'm doing this lesson. <laughs> that's amazing. That's that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> And you see, this, this is what I'll be talking about. This is what I'll be talking about. I'll be doing something, and then all of a sudden, in the corner of my eye, I, I just see the, the, the bright chariot just standing there, sitting in the heavens. It's absolutely beautiful, man. This is a miracle of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. This, yo, this, this is absolutely beautiful, man. And I don't know what, what timestamp it is, but I'm going to upload that video on you that I just took. But yeah, man. These miracles are coming <clears throat> and it's going to be on a whole different scale than obviously than the deliverance of Egypt because like him, it's mentioned in um, Jeremiah 16 and 16, no, it's 15. So like it says here, but the Lord... Yehovah Shem HaMashai lived that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them and I'll bring them again into the land, into the land that I have gave unto their fathers. <clears throat> and also like him, well I should have read verse 14 verse, it says, Therefore behold the day come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord lived that brought the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. So that just shows you the magnitude of these um 
miracles that the Lord is going to do. And we know the Lord did a whole load of miracles in ancient Egypt. And he's going to do a whole load of miracles again in spiritual Egypt and in front of the modern day Pharaoh. And look at that man, it's 544. But it's, it's just changed now, but it was just 544. And the chariot's still there. But it's gone dim. Hmm. That's absolutely beautiful, man. But yeah. I hope this is edifying. I'm going to give a praise on and glory to you. Hallelujah.